About a month ago, I actually sold my Tesla Model 3. And if you guys are wondering more information about why I sold it and stuff like that, um, I will leave a video link in the description and I'll try to put a link somewhere up on the top of the screen here. After a lot of test driving and looking at other things, I finally came to the realization that this is the car that I truly like and fits the needs for me. So, even though it felt weird going back to something that I already had, I knew it was the right decision. So, I am back in a WRX STI. So, I actually bought this STI in the beginning of March, so last month. And right after I bought it, Subaru went ahead and announced that this would be the last STI that they are going to make on, on at least for like five to 10 years at minimum. And when they have another one, it's going to be either electric or hybrid. So it just makes me a million times happier with my decision that I went and picked one up because I'm gonna be honest, the price of this has actually gone up since I got it because they're becoming so rare now and Subaru is never going to be making an STI again. And like I said, well, this type of STI. They've said that they're probably going to make another STI, but it's not going to be like this. It's not gonna be, the, at least with unequal length headers and have that rumble that everybody associates with the STI. You know that deep Subaru rumble that this STI has? I guarantee you there will never be an STI with that sound ever again. The next one is either going to be fully electric or a hybrid, uh, like Subaru said. So I am just so glad that I chose to go back and get this while I had the chance. So you guys might be asking yourself, well, why the hell would you go back to a car that you sold? Well, to be honest, I checked out a lot of other cars. Um, one of the other ones that I was really interested in was the new Toyota Supra. Not bad. Visibility is absolutely horrendous though. Like, <laughs> it's really bad, guys. Oh my God, the visibility in this thing is really bad. Um, I checked that out and honestly one well two Three things that it was missing. Okay, first thing and most important thing was this right here There is nothing and I will tell you nothing and I realized this after I sold my STI my old one that I used to have for the Tesla Model 3 There is nothing nothing like this, okay? Every day that I get in this car, I am thrilled to drive this thing. Every time I drive this thing, it is so much fun. Like, I'm kind of glad that I bought a Tesla because I kind of learned a lesson. And the lesson that I learned is sometimes you don't realize what you have until it's gone. And that's what I realized when I got rid of my old STI. I realized how much fun and how much enjoyment I actually got out of a six-speed manual um, when I didn't have it. So that is the number one reason why I did not buy the Toyota Supra is because a manual transmission. It did not have a manual transmission and even though it looked amazing, I would say it almost looks more amazing than this thing. It did not have the feeling, nor did it have the engagement that this car has. And it did not handle as good as this car does. Now, another reason that I did not buy the Toyota Supra, very, and it was a car that I was really interested in picking up. Good gas mileage as well. This has terrible gas mileage. The Supra had 
absolutely terrible visibility. I'm just gonna say that right now. It was awful. This STI has better visibility than the Tesla um, in terms of looking back. When I would look back in the Tesla sometimes, you couldn't even see the car behind you um, just because the trunk was like so high up. But this, this, So this one has better visibility than the Tesla. And when I got in the Supra, it's a two-door car, okay? This visibility in the Supra was horrendous. It was awful. I just... I don't know if I could sacrifice it. It was just, it was, I don't know if I could sacrifice for the visibility. It was just too bad. Um, and another reason why I didn't buy the Supra is it was too uh, rear wheel drive. And I would just did not like it. I didn't feel stable. I didn't feel in control. I just, I was not a fan of it. Maybe as a weekend car or something, um, only in the summer, but as a daily driver, the Supra just did not meet what I wanted, um, even though it looked amazing. So part of the reason why I actually went and looked at the Supra and I was looking at other cars is because I felt kind of stupid going back to a car that I already had, a cheaper car. This car is almost half the cost of the Tesla. The Tesla, I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys, the Tesla was like $65,000. That's how much the car is. And this car is almost half the cost of that. And I kind of felt stupid going back to something because you kind of feel dumb. You get all the way up to that Tesla, right? But then you go all the way back to this. So that's why I was looking at the Supra. I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't go all the way back down. Maybe I should still look at something priced near the Tesla. So that's what I did. I looked at the Supra. I looked at older GTRs. I looked at other things that I would be interested in. Something that I realized is just because something is more expensive does not mean it'll bring you more happiness. This car right here, this STI that cost half the price of that Tesla Model 3 Performance that I had, this brings me twice the joy on a daily basis than the Tesla ever did. So what I want to share with you guys is that just money does not bring you happiness, okay? Find what you truly enjoy and stick with it. This is what I truly enjoy and I truly like. I love to mod this car. I love the sound, I love the feel, I love the look. I just absolutely love this car and there's nothing else out there that really matches me and my personality than this car. I just absolutely love this thing. So what have I done so far to the car, guys? Well. Um, I have done a few things and I'm gonna have videos very soon. Um, I've already recorded them, but I did install a catback exhaust, so I will have a video on that very, very soon. So watch out for that. So a few other things that I actually went ahead and installed and I will have videos on very soon is the Cobb Redline intake. I've already installed that. Um, a few other things, I have an intercooler guard, the thing that says STI, that's to protect the inter intercooler from bugs and stuff a GFB uh, blow off valve, and some other little things here and there. I'm gonna be doing more, but I will have videos on all of this soon because I wanna share my entire modding journey uh, of this car with you guys. Now, I also actually have already picked out the color that I'm going to be wrapping this, and I will be wrapping it very soon because I wanna protect the paint because this thing is like literally perfect right now um there might be a few uh, one or two chips here and there but overall it's like perfect all right guys let's go ahead and take this baby for a little drive now you know i just want to say i'm sure for the some, some people that are out there i'm sure there is going to be some point in my life where this type of car is completely ridiculous and it's time for a tesla you know but Right now, I realized, let's have the most fun that I can right now when I can, okay? You know, I just kind of realized that. Um, and that's another reason why I went back to this car, because I, I felt deep in my heart, I was like, I just was not having, you know, the joy that I used to get out of my old SCI with the Tesla. So I was like, you know what? I can do it. Let's just freaking get rid of it and get what I wanted. And this is what I truly like and what I truly enjoy. See if you guys can hear the turbo sounds. 
nothing insane with the turbo sounds just a little bit nothing crazy also in my last STI I had, did not have a resonator this one does have a resonator so this one is a little bit quieter but not by much gotta let her warm up a little bit but oh my god guys let me tell you ladies and gentlemen if you guys have never experienced a awesome feeling six speed manual turbo car like this you have to experience it it might just be me you know it could just be something that I really really enjoy um, and you know not everybody enjoys the same thing um, but this is something that I personally really really enjoy I am beyond excited to get this thing wrapped I am just so excited guys Ooh, just to you know make this thing look insane again and I'm gonna be honest this thing looks I know I say I'm gonna be honest a lot but this thing looks so good just how it is like this is one of the best looking stock like cars in the f ever like man it is so good and the new 2022 WRX it's okay but that plastic oof, man I'm gonna tell you like this thing actually looks premium. Oh, that, uh, yeah. And that's another thing. Um, oh, guys. Whoa! Oh. Ah! God, you just, oh, man. Like, damn, boy. Let me tell you, okay? Let me tell you. I drove some other four-cylinder engine cars, all right? Even the WRX, just the WRX. This thing, like, nothing sounds like the STI with those unequal length headers, that Subaru rumble paired with the turbo. It's just, it sounds so low and mean and like, oh, it's just, no, man. You know, you wouldn't believe that a Honda has a four-cylinder engine just like this as well or a lot of other cars but none of them sound like this this thing is just insane in the way it sounds let's roll some windows down here a little bit gonna get a down shift oh oh my baby Woo! <laughs> uh, I am telling you guys there is nothing like this thing it is so much fun to drive if you guys have never been in one you have to drive one you have to uh, and they are completely different okay I want to say I had this car without the mods without the exhaust without the intake blow off valve and stuff like that and this car is a whole nother beast of fun with the intake and everything and all the sounds that come with it. I mean, it is just amazing how much this car comes alive and it just sounds so good. God, and I'm sure it sounds completely different in real life compared to the video, but man, this thing sounds good, guys. Oh, God damn. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you hear the turbo a little bit. Oh. 
nothing south like this thing, guys. Gosh. Oh. Oh. And the just, you know, the, like I was saying, the constant engagement that you have with the car, just it keeps it so entertaining the whole trip, the whole drive. You know, it's just so awesome. It is so, so awesome. Oh, I just love it so much, man. I love it so much. And another thing, you actually can get decent miles per gallon with this. I mean, driving it like I am right now, in like your town or something, you're not gonna get that best MPGs, okay? Like right now, I'm averaging 15, okay? But when I was on the highway, okay, I really tried, okay? I was like, all right, if I'm gonna have this car as a daily, I gotta try to get at least okay miles per gallon if I wanna go on trips with it. So I, I went about 60 miles per hour on the highway, cruise control, and I was able to get about 28 miles per gallon with this thing. Which is honestly not that bad, okay? It's really not that bad. Um, and another thing is I absolutely love the WRX and STI community. They are just, you know, the best. Almost every person that I see with another STI WRX waves and wants to have a conversation and say hello. And that's just not something that I got with the Tesla. I, for some reason, I thought I would get that with the Tesla community. I love them and they're amazing, um, but they're just not like the WRX community. The WRX community, everybody waves, everyone says hello, everyone wants to talk and blah, 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 and all this stuff. But 95%, well, more like 99% of the Tesla people that I drove by or stopped by at a supercharger, no one wanted to say hello. No one wanted to do anything. It was just all like not, not friendly at all. I think there was one person that talked to me at a supercharger once. There was one person that waved at me once in the Tesla. And that's it. The whole like four or five months I had the Tesla. I've had my WRX and I've had my WRX for a month and 95% of people have waved at me and said hello and stuff like that. And just the community feels so strong when it comes to this car compared to the Tesla. Which is weird because you would think the Tesla has a stronger community, but it's it, they kind of don't. It's like stronger online, but not in real life. It's kind of odd. But, I absolutely love the Tesla. The Tesla is amazing. Uh, if I ever get another car one day, maybe that will be what my next car is another day. But I will never, probably ever get rid of uh, this amazing six-speed manual. It's just absolutely amazing, guys. Um, but as I go ahead and head home here, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to say thank you, everybody, yet again for being here through all of this, you know, I thought buying a Tesla was the right thing, to be honest with you guys, I really thought it was. I really thought it was time for me to grow up and get out of this crazy, fun, stupid, six-speed manual, uh, loud car, but I realized that, no, I should have the most fun that I can right now and enjoy everything that I, like, have. So that's why I went back to this, and that's okay. I just realized that's okay. I can do what I want, have the car that I want, that brings me the most joy, and yeah. So I just, I sold the Tesla and got this, and I am back to driving what I really, really enjoy on the daily basis. So just wanted to say thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for following me with this interesting events of buying that Tesla and selling it and realizing it wasn't for me. So. Just want to say thank you everybody i really do appreciate it and i hope this video and experience maybe helps you guys out a little bit if if you're thinking about changing up a car or something or 
you know, something like that. Just try to stay with what you personally love and enjoy. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching the video today. And make sure to drop a like. And let me know if you guys have any questions on the car or anything. Um, and yeah, we are going to have videos on the exhaust and the install and all that stuff coming very, very soon. So peace out, ladies and gentlemen.